Hello painting peeps and welcome. It's Kathleen from Cos Creations. Welcome to the no bra zone here in beautiful Florida. I'm fiddling. I love learning new things. I love trying new things. I love trying to create new things. I just love it and this is what I love about uh, um, acrylic pouring as well as collage work and one of the people that I watch is Froyal, Froyal Art. Um, I will post a link in the description box. Go see her. She's fantastic. She's this spunky, wonderful, creative woman from New Zealand and she does glorious collages. She does beautiful jelly prints and I'm laying in bed last night. Uh, I, I don't watch TV and I'm laying in bed and I've got my earbuds in so I don't disturb Rick and um, I'm watching a YouTube video on something and I fall asleep. And it just kind of, my my iPad just kept going, and I woke up to Froil. <laughs> Froil in my face with her her wonderful giggle and laugh. And um, she was doing, um, I don't even know what it's called. She took her uh, Nat Geo magazine um, National Geographic, and she soaked the papers of this in citrusol, which is a uh, Valenza orange concentrated cleaner and degreaser. It's for tough stains, grease, and everyday cleaning, and she promised that it smells okay. <laughs> <laughs> which I hope so. And what she did is she went through her magazine and um, put the citrusol in a little cup and then brushed it on her pages, closed the book up, and then let it sat for anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes. I actually went on and watched a few other videos, and Froyle is not the first person to do this, but I happened to wake up to her doing it, so she is certainly my inspiration. But a lot of people have done that, this. And what it does is it uh, takes the ink in the National Geographic magazine, which is a really, really good ink, and very few magazines will do this, and it kind of dissolves it and makes it into this beautiful muted paper that you can use for collage, you can incorporate into your acrylic pores, you can do all kinds of things with it. So. I'm going to try this. I am going to brush this citrusol onto these papers, close this book up, put it in here. I'm not sure if I'm going to use the whole book or if I just pull out some pages because it's the first time I'm doing it and um, I'd hate to ruin this book. And actually, it's a gorgeous magazine and I actually bought two from Amazon because uh, one to play with and the other one to to put on my coffee table. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. And then after you check it now and again to see if the, the, the ink on here has dissolved, you pull the papers apart. Um, you do not want to leave them so long because if you do, the papers tend to stick together. So after about 10 or 15 minutes, I will check the papers then pull them apart, and then I have a uh, long drawing table over there that I put uh, upside down pee pee pads on so the plastic part is up, and I'm going to lay them there to dry, and then I will show them to you, and then we will make, hopefully, a glorious collage. So, guys, thanks for being here. If you have any questions, reach out. If I can answer them, I will. If not, I'll find the answer to your questions. Froyle, thank you always for your wonderful laughs, smiles, and uh, all your knowledge um, and the things that you have taught me along this, uh, this collage journey of mine. So, Let's put some music on. Let's, let's get stinky. <laughs> I am back. 
back. It is a day later and my National Geographic prints are kind of cool. They did not melt or dissolve as much as I thought that they would, but this is my first try at it and I am not by all means unhappy with them. I actually left them to soak for about 15 minutes and then I checked them to make sure that they were not sticking together. And then I added a little bit more of the citrus salve to a few of the pages and then just set it aside for another 15 minutes. So this is what we got after 15 minutes. And I'm really surprised at how sturdy the papers are. Now everything has got a beautiful kind of mutedness to it. These leaves were not that shade of green prior to and what's interesting about this is this page laid on top of it and picked up the same print and the text which I think can be really really super cool in a collage this one warms my heart it muted and bled a little bit and oh how majestic do those trees look that is just amazing and then this one is cool this one picked up some text from the paper that was laying um, against it and it really muted and blended these colors beautiful so wonderful pieces for collage this one is kind of cool as well. They almost look blurry, muted and blurry. This one is fun. And this one is super cool. I mean, that's snow and it uh, it's now blue. <laughs> and I love it. And this is very, very muted and soft. And this one is super cool as well. The the um, ink on the paper kind of bled a little bit and gave it a super cool effect. So I stared at these for a while last night and decided that I am going to start with this one. This is going to be my focal point for this collage on this 18 by 18 wood cradle board. And I'll probably cut it out or tear it and use the part that I tear on another side. I generally like doing things kind of in threes or odd numbers. So if I have a little here, I want to pick up a little here and maybe a little here. But I want to talk about my Kozo papers, Kozo.studio. There's a link in the description box to get a discount. Head over there, tell them I said a big hello. Great customer service. Pretty darn fast delivery anywhere from seven to nine days because it comes from afar. But these papers are incredible. Look at this bark paper. This will work beautifully on this canvas. Look at this fabric paper. I mean, they tear absolutely beautiful, and a couple of them I actually misted with water, and it allowed me to tear them a little bit more specifically. You can certainly cut them, but I like when I'm using my papers for them to be a little bit more organic. And look at this. This is wonderful. And then when you tear this, you get these wonderful threads that you can work throughout your uh, collage. Oh, be still my heart. This is like embedded leaf prints in here. Look at all these wonderful things that um, I'm going to use. Here is the leaf print as well, but that's in the green. Can you see the texture in this? These papers warm my heart. You can also buy a, um, a group of the Koso papers, like you can go to the green section and buy a sample group of things. But look at these, these have all these wonderful threads going throughout. In the greens, the coppers, the yellows. Can you see the imprints that are in here of um, Mother Nature? I'm just, I'm crazy about this stuff. <laughs> and look at how thick, and it, this has got like a, a jaggedy edge to it, which I love. This is a piece, now these are all pieces from big, pieces of paper. You can buy a um, uh, 
18 by 30, you can buy um, a bigger sheet, you can buy the size sheets that you want. Kozo Dot Studios, guys, the um, discount link um, is Cos Creations Art. Simple and easy. Look at this. This is just packing tape uh, paper that I got from a beautiful group of, uh, of wood cradle boards that I ordered from uh, Australia from uh, Darling Bree Edge. I'm going to use this. And cardboard, guys. <laughs> and this came off a box. But what I do is I take a sharp edge like this and I kind of just go in there and tear a section off and then that separates it so it's not so thick and you can use either side. You can also leave part of the top portion on it to give you some wonderful, wonderful texture. So that's what we're doing today, guys, and I'm so excited. Now, I do these. I put them up on a wall in front of me and then I stare at them. And what I do, let me show you how I store my leftovers. I have these wonderful, wonderful clear plastic envelopes with the little Velcro edge. And what I do is I save every bit and piece of my collage work. Every time I tear a page, if there's a little bit left over, I stick it in here and then I keep this next to my canvas board while I'm staring at it. And a lot of times I go back in and add some more. Or if there's a piece that didn't quite suit me on the art, um, I cover it up. That's the wonderful thing about collage. You can take your time with it. And so let's, let's look at this. This is another one of the Geo, um, um, things that I did from the National Geographic magazine. This looks like one of my paintings, one of my trees. So that's one to come. Um, what else? Yeah, I'm going to get rocking and rolling. I might pull out my, um, my jelly pad. Um, after I get started, I don't know. I just might do this all in fabrics. What do I use to secure my fabrics? I use a couple of things. If it is a heavy-duty fabric like these guys right here I secure them with the extra heavy molding paste if it's a lightweight fabric like this one right here just regular molding paste I use the triart molding paste which is absolutely wonderful what else I don't know that's it might get some stamping going might do some jelly printing I'm just gonna get jiggy with it guys and I'm excited thanks for joining me thanks for being here Let's get busy.
down I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Same old 